Welcome everyone to uh, It's another week of free games. I hope everyone actually did manage to grab the Fallout collection along with the other free game as well. So if you didn't, it's on you. Not on me. You were, you were told. I gave you ample opportunities to give to get it. I even told you it was Fallout 1, 2, and Fallout Tactics. So we still have the um, Epic Game Store is on mobile, mobile rewards, which I've already done. We also had end of summer sale, if you're in Australia and such in the southern hemisphere, it'd be the end of winter sale for years because this, this is actually owned by, this is American, so I don't care what season it is. Star Wars Outlaws is out, I think. Yeah, it's out. Um, I've not played it. I want to play it. But September is... Um, how can I put this? Not exactly... Um, I'm trying to find the right word. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to say, it's chock-a-block with games. It, it's the one month that is slap full with games. And I do mean it is slap full with games. So I'll just bring this up. Literally, he he we is everything. Everything's just gonna be buried under something else. This is why you don't release games in September. Yes, I'm happy for the Lollipop Chainsaw Remaster, but then you got Disney Epic Mickey rebrushed, which is gonna be lost under this. Funko Fusion is going to be lost between these two and this. Which is Age of Mythology retold. Warhammer 40k Space Marines, Sackless Anything, Astro Bot is the major one for PlayStation 5. Star Trek, I can play that on Xbox Series X because of Ultimate Game Pass. Or Game Pass Ultimate. Um, Ace Attorney Investigations, Nintendo Switch, Greedfall 2. Don't know why. I haven't played the first one. It, it, there's just a whole lot. And if I go to Game Rant, we go games in September. Here's everything. Yes, Astro Bot is actually out on PlayStation 5 right now. <laughs> You yep, Quidditch Champions from Harry Potter, which actually outshadowed this. The casting of Frank Stone. Ancient Mythology retold it's already out. Astro Bot is one of the biggest PlayStation games, but then you got NBA 2K25, which is a microtransaction mess. Again, Ace Attorney Collection, Investigations Collection, PC, Switch, Xbox and PlayStation. Warhammer 40k which is coming in three days. Yaz Racing, Vampire the Mask Break, Reckoning of New York. Rares Adventures in Gameland. Test Drive Unlimited, Solar Crown, Funko Fusion, Final Fantasy 16 for PC. Throne in Liberty, The Plucky Squire, Eternal of the Last Song, Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. Go for Ragnarok for PC. Frostpunk 2, our uh, history untold. Epic Mickey, Rink Brush, like I said. Greedfall. Greedfall 2 is going to be outpaced by this because a whole lot of Disney fans and everyone else who's actually played Epic Mickey is going to be rebrushed. I'll grab that. Lollipop Chainsaw, Repop. 
um, this, these two might overshadow each other because they're released within a day of each other. So you got Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom, Alara 2, for mobile, Earth Defense Force, World Brothers 2 for PS5, PS4, Switch, EA Sports FC 2025, and then you got Starfield Shuttered Space, which is the DLC. This is why you don't release in September, because you literally have games on top of games. Especially ones that come out on uh, the same day. Literally, free on the same day. Take your pick. October is still a mess as well. Batman Arkham Show for MetaQuest Free. Oh, I would love to have the MetaQuest Free. Just so I can play Batman Arkham Shadow and beat up everything in my sight. I am the Knight. I am the Terror. I am the one that strikes fear in the heart of my enemies. I am Batman. Sorry about that. It's like, it. whenever I see Batman, it's like, I, I just want to enjoy it. Like, I enjoyed Batman Arkham Silent, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, which was a complete mess with the um, Riddler Trophy, especially with one of them where you actually had to light up ones that were in order and then light up the whole board to try and get the Riddler Trophy. A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead, Dragon Ball Z, Sparkling Zero. Yeah, see... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants Unleashed game. How many games do you want? Because you got no more room in HAL 2 and Dragon Age. Villa. Wild Guard. Same day. Same with these three. These three. These two. These two. These two. This is why you, you you don't release on top of other games. Yes, this is a DLC ad expansion. This is an expansion for Diablo 4. And then if we look to November, it's very small. Which is good. Yes, I still need pre-order my Assassin's Creed Shadows. I do want the... Um, Collector's Edition, the one with the double statue. And then we go into December. I mean, you got Marvel's Rising. Marvel Risings. Or Marvel Rivals, I should say. I'm just going straight out and call it a Fortnite ripoff. Because Monument Valley 3, which is Netflix Games, don't know why, is going to be overshadowed by this. Which I am going to be getting. And then we have other games to be announced as well. So you're actually getting all this. I, I am going to grab that when it comes out. So yeah. And including The Wolf Among Us. This, I don't know, but yes, Prison Architect 2, yes. But anyway, enough about that, let's get back to the free games, shall we? Black Myth Wukong, Gory Curly Carnage, is Discover Something New, Death Nail Delivery, you can take your pick from me on what games you want. Um, if you do have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, Core Keeper is actually up to play, so you can download it, play it, it's alright. End of Summer Spotlight. So again, you can take your pick, same with these. That's a, that is the complete edition of 
Just Cause 4, which includes every single DLC. Free games! We have Football Manager 2024 and Sniper Ghost Warrior Contract, and there's Rugrats. Avengers in Game Land. I can't believe they're actually throwing this up for free. Why are they throwing Rugrats Adventures in Gameland up for free along with Super Crazy Rhythm Castle? I'm shocked. Because this is probably what? 80 bucks? Pro I'm saying probably 80 bucks because that's what it probably is. Is that deal? Ugh. Rip that door. Oh, the old school. The old school. The old school. What is it? Um, Game Boy Color, I think. Yeah, the old school Game Boy Color. Oh. Really? They went that far? They went that far? Oh. That takes me back to when I had a Game Boy and a Game Boy Color. Oh, God. Mm, that just tugs at the retro hot strings. Well, let's see what else we have. Um, Rocket Racing. It's got a new car with Fortnite. Four guys. Fortnite still. Um, top new releases. Squirrel with a gun. Resident Evil West Complete Edition. Yeah, I'm still playing the PlayStation 5 one, which I am enjoying. Oh, excuse me. Um, if anyone wants to play Nine Heroes, there's an open pre-alpha playtest that's going on right now. Yes, Harry Potter Legacy is still on sale. I advise anyone who hasn't grabbed it to grab it, but get the deluxe edition. You'll be happy. Because you actually get the uh, Dark Arts arenas and everything else. Though there is a director's cut coming. I do not know when. Also, I'd like to point out one other thing. Yes, it's true. It's coming. So I'd like to thank the um, Lego and Harry Potter. So Harry Potter and the Lego channels. because one's for my PS5, one's for Xbox, I can sit down and replay through a good, funny Lego Harry Potter collection game. And I do mean it, it's all funny. I still have my Lego Harry Potter collection for PS4, just in case my niece, my oldest niece, wants to actually play it. And I do mean if she wants to play it, which she actually hasn't been playing, so... Yes, digitally. That's that's fine. To me, that is fine. And I do mean that's fine because being able to play a good game that I well, two good games from Lego that I remember playing on the Xbox 360 and playing on the PS4. 
I'm going to sit back, enjoy, and just have a good laugh. Because with everything reimagined and remastered, we're going to be getting the first four games in 4K, along with being remastered. And it's going to be enjoyable. So if it's coming to Steam, it will be probably coming to Epic Game Store as well. Because they didn't say... Did it actually say anything? No, Steam, so I don't know about Epic Game Store. Oh, and if you're wondering about the S24, that is 2024. That's what it represents. I'm just looking... No, I don't have Lego Harry Potter for... Well, the Lego Harry Potter collection for Xbox. Oh... No, that's Tomb Raider. Oh. What else? Oh, I still gotta go through. Disney's Magic Kingdom, uh, no, Kingdom Hearts, uh, yeah, I gotta go for a number of games, excuse me, World Cup decided to do video, um, we're, we're good on time anyway, so, free game, before I go, do go, do grab the free games. I'm gonna grab them. Next week is I was not expecting this to be actually be up. And then Super Crazy Riven Castle. So you're probably wondering what am I getting with Football Manager 2024? And I'm going to say this outright for you saying, oh, but you in Australia, don't you have football? Yes, we have Australian Football League. But we also call what UK say is football, we call it soccer. Because we can't exactly call it football when we already have a football league. Yes, you do get achievements. Yes, you can actually play the demo if you wanted to, but the game's free. And then you got the in-game editor. With Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts. There are achievements. There's also different additions as well. So with this one you get the skins pack. No soundtrack. The Arsenal edition and gives you the Arsenal pack, while the Lazy edition gives you everything. So, that's all there is. If it say, if both games say in library, don't worry, if they say get, grab them. And with that, I'm going to end here, so like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications, and share this video with anyone who is actually going to be enjoying some free games, and tell them to make an Epic account, Epic Games account, because I will enjoy a number of free games that are in the free game section as well.